Oil price lower for longer. Uh, we're talking about 50 to 60 through calendar year 2017. It's probably not a bad thing to, you know, ballpark range to to look at. Uh, you know, there's some there's some wild cards at OPEC and how how long they can take that pain. Uh, a lot of countries uh, within OPEC that are really having trouble, obviously balancing their budgets and are in extreme in an extreme. Uh, extremely challenging situation. So that's, that's one thing that might uh, bring that oil price up faster than, than expected. Uh, but longer term, uh, if you look at uh, what's being depleted, how much cash is, capital has been taken out of the industry, uh, billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, uh, that's uh, the depletion rate of, you know, at 5% per year on non-OPEC, uh, non-OPEC oil at 50 million barrels. You know, by 2018, you know, you only 10 million barrels a day just to just to get back to that depletion, and if you put growth in at uh, say a million barrels a day by 2018, 2019, you're going to need 15 million barrels a day. And Iraq, Iran, Russia, Brazil—they're not going to be able to touch that. So uh, I think once all the negative headline earning uh, headlines uh, subside on oil uh, later in the decade, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a, quite a quite a swing up on on oil. But right now. And that's, we're protect, like I said, we're protecting the company with our response plan. And uh, that's where we're at right now. So uh, $1 uh, change in the oil price uh, annually gets you about 811 million rand in, uh, in additional profit. Uh, and a 10 cent, 10 cent uh, ch change to the, or weakening of the rand to the dollar is about 650 million uh, rand annually t uh, addition to profit. So. Those are where we're at right now on sensitivities. Mm -hmm.